This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping on orders over $150, you can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA and 401 Games, Canada's one stop shop for trading cards, board games, and hobby supplies. They've got an amazing loyalty program and an easy to use and robust buy list. And if you use the promo code MTGMUDSTA, your first purchase of MTG sealed and singles will be 5% off. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. I am also thrilled to promote this upcoming Kickstarter featuring the gorgeous art of Magali Villeneuve. With five absolute gorgeous playmats featuring the art of the Adventures in Forgotten Realm box art, Ereti of the Charmed Apple, Huntsmaster of the Fells, Liliana Waker of the Dead, and Narset Part of the Veils, this Kickstarter campaign is stacked full of gorgeous art. Not to mention this jaw-dropping art, which unlocks at the 50,000 mark. And by backing early, you can help decide the fate of the other stretch goals by voting on playmats you want to unlock. These stunning etched playmats feature extended artwork and are only available through this campaign, so be sure to support it now. Hey gang, and welcome back. Today's patron shoutout is to Wes Allen. Much love to Wes for helping to support the channel. In today's game, we have Max, Seb, and Felix rejoining us. And Max has busted out his oldie but goodie with Gavi, keeping Sacred Foundry, Sea of Clouds, Hollowed Fountain, Talisman of Conviction, Wrath of God, Weathered Wayfarer, and a Boros Signet. Felix is playing Eowyn, and he's keeping Eomer, King of Rohan, Tuskaskia's Welcome, Audric Lunar Marshal, Arcane Signet, Port Town, and Two Mountains. Seb is playing their newly made Thalia and the Gitrog Monster, keeping Beast Within, Sanctuary Lockdown, Swiftfoot Boots, Mortify, Temple Garden, Forest, and a Gulgari Signet. Last but not least, I am playing my Indominus Rex deck, keeping Persist, Rampant Growth, Reflecting Pool, Blightsteel Colossus, Elder Gargoth, Three Visits, and an Island. I should note when keeping this hand, I thought the Reflecting Pool was a command tower, because this is a really risky keep. Anyway, Max wins the die roll and starts us off. He draws and plays a Sea of Clouds, then pays a white for a Weather Wayfarer. I draw, play an island, and pass. Felix draws, plays a port town, and reveals an island so it comes in untapped. Seb just plays a tap temple garden. Max plays a sacred foundry, untapped, and loses two. He then pays two for a talisman of progress, and then goes to combat. He hits Felix for one, and passes to me. I draw, and in a stroke of luck, find a forest, which I play. Having been completely rewarded for my sketchy keep, I'm then able to cast a 3 visits to perfectly fix my mana, and pass to Felix. Felix draws, plays a mountain, and casts Arcane Signet. Seb plays a fortified village, revealing a forest, and then casts Golgari Signet. Max draws and plays Hollowed Fountain, taking 2 so it comes in untapped. He then casts a Boros Signet, and a Talisman of Conviction, and goes to combat. He then hits me for one with the Weathered Wayfarer, and passes. I play a Reflecting Pool for turn, and then cast a Ramp and Growth, going to find a Swamp. Felix plays an Island, and casts Tocassia's Welcome, and then a Champion of the Parish, drawing a card from the Welcome. He passes to Seb after that. Seb's got a Forest, and they then play a somber wall sage. Max plays Gavi in his main phase, and then free cycles Desert of the Mindful, making a cat token and drawing a card. I'm similar, casting my own commander, and Indominus Rex comes in, with me discarding Gormag Swiftfang, Elder Gargoth, and a Blightsteel Colossus. It gets all the keywords from among them, and I draw a total of 7 from the keywords. I then go to combat since Rex has haste, and I swing at Felix for 6. With nothing else, I pass. Felix draws and plays a mountain. He then casts Eowyn, and as she comes in, puts a plus one plus one counter onto the champion, and passes. Seb draws and plays Swiftfoot Boots, and then casts Thalia and the Gitrog monster. They then move the boots onto what Harry has named Thalrog, and passes. During their end step, Max activates Weathered Wayfarer to find a land. Max draws and plays a Flooded Strand, and then casts Riel. 
He free cycles a lonely sandbar, making another cat token, and drawing some extra cards off Riel. He then follows up with Gift of Estates, going to find three planes. He then passes after that. I draw and play an Urborg, and then cast a Fire Shrieker. I then move it onto my commander, as this is one of the very few ways in Sultai and Colorless to give something double strike, and I swing Rex at Seb. Seb takes 12, and I then pass turn. During my end step, Max cycles Irrigated Farmland, drawing two thanks to Riel and making a cat token. Felix plays a Roaming Throne, naming human as it comes in. He then passes, and Max cycles again on Felix's end step, drawing two and making a cat. Seb's turn has them drawing and casting Adeline, and then move to combat. They swing their commander and get to make a human token attacking each opponent, and each of us block. Seb then plays an exotic orchard after combat, and then casts Sanctuary Lockdown. But I respond to this with a stubborn denial to counter it. Seb then casts a Rampant Growth, passing while searching for a basic, and Max cycles a remote isle and making a cat token. He also uses his Weathered Wayfarer to go and find a land to put to hand. Max draws and plays a Spectator Seeding, which enters tapped because of Thalrog. He then cycles Desert of the True for free, and gets to draw two and make a cat token. He then moves to cast an Anointed Procession, but I respond with a Force of Will to counter it. Max then cracks the Flooded Strand, losing one, and he goes to find a Steam Vents. He then casts an Esper Sentinel, and moves to combat. Four cat tokens go at me, and I block one, but still take six. With nothing else, Max passes. I draw and cast Persist in my main phase to bring back the Elder Gargoth. I then go to combat, and swing my commander at Max. Before moving to blocks, he cycles a Rogrin Triome to try and find an answer, drawing two and making a tapped cat token. He finds nothing though, and takes a 12, and I then pass to Felix. Felix plays a Knight of the White Orchid, and he gets to go and find two lands, thanks to the Roaming Throne doubling the triggers. The champion also gets two plus one plus one counters, and Felix then plays an Island for turn. And then plays Niali. Eowyn then gets to trigger twice, and gives him four two twos, and draws him two cards. He decides not to attack though, and just passes, with Max once more cycling on his end step, drawing two, and making a cat token. Seb draws, and plays a champion to Lamholt, and then moves to combat. They swing Thalrog at Max again, and make three human tokens from Adeline, with one going at each of us. And Seb also sacrifices the token going at Max to Thalrog to draw a card. Max then takes four, while Felix and I block the tokens, and with nothing else, Seb passes. During their end step, Max activates the Weathered Wayfarer, going to find Secluded Step, which once is in his hand, he cycles for free, drawing two, and making a cat token. Max draws and overloads a Cyclonic Rift. He then plays and cracks a Scalding Tarn, finding a mountain, and going to combat. He swings all of his cat tokens at Felix, who takes the hit. After combat, Max then cycles a Neutralize for free, and he then moves to discard and passes. I draw and recast Indominus Rex. But as he enters, Max cycles a Nimble Obstructionist and stifles the Enter the Battlefield trigger. I then play out a Beast Caller Savant and move to discard and then pass. Felix draws and plays a Plains. He starts rebuilding with an Arcane Signet, Champion of the Parish, and then Eowyn. The Champion gets a counter as Eowyn comes in, and Felix moves to combat, getting two Knight Tokens from Eowyn's trigger, and then passing. During his end step, Max gets to go and find a Desert of the Fervent with the Weathered Wayfarer, and then free cycles it, drawing two and making a cat. Seb draws and plays a Godless Shrine untapped, taking two. They then recast a Golgari Signet, and pass to Max. Max draws and plays a Reliquary Tower. He casts Idyllic Tutor, and goes to find Shared Animosity, which he then casts. He then moves to combat, 
and Seb casts Mortify, removing the shared animosity and saving the table. Max responds to the removal by activating the Weathered Wayfarer, going to find Drifting Meadow, and cycles it, but sadly he doesn't run a ton of counterspells and can't find a way to save it. Max then moves to combat and retaliates by swinging all cats at Seb, and Seb drops to 6. In his post-combat main phase, Max then casts an Imperial Recruiter, which as it enters, goes to find him an Avon Wind Guide to put to hand. I draw and recast the Fire Shrieker and then equip it onto Indominus Rex. With no good attack on Max though, I just pass to Felix. Felix draws and plays Aomer, King of Rohan. He then makes himself the Monarch and deals 6 to Max as well. Going to combat, Felix makes two more Knight Tokens and draws a card off Eowyn and then swings out at Max. Max jumps with the Esper Sentinel and Recruiter on the Champion and Eowyn, and also puts Gabby and Riel in front of two of the Knight Tokens. This has Max taking four, and after combat, Felix then casts a Spark Double, coming in as a copy of Eomer. With the additional Knight Tokens and Eomer itself, Felix is then able to do exactly eight damage to Max's face, taking him out. With nothing else, Felix passes. Seb draws and replays Somberwall Sage. They then cast the Swiftfoot Boots and puts them onto the Sage. Seb then taps the Sage, casting Adeline and passing. I draw and play Criminal Past. I follow up with Miri the Cursed and go to combat. I swing Rex at Felix and Miri at Seb, and Felix decides to double block with his two Aomers. I kill the larger Spark Double copy, and Seb takes 3, and I then pass to Felix. Felix draws and plays Lost Nark Captain, tapping down my Beast Caller Savant. He then plays Audric Lunar Marshal, and announces he'll go to combat. However, before leaving the main phase, Seb uses Beast Within to take out Audric. But as we move to combat, Felix still gets to make two Knight Tokens off of Eowyn and draw a card. He then does the math, and sends Eowyn at Seb and everything else at me, which is enough to finish both of us off and win Felix the game. Game review time. This video was 57 minutes and 2 seconds, and I think the player of the game was Felix this one and not just because he won the game. He was the one who pointed out that Indominus Rex draws based on the amount of keyword counters that are added to him, which I know a lot of people have been correcting me in earlier gameplays. It certainly changed the power level and dynamic of the deck, and I found myself enjoying the deck even more. I also enjoyed Felix's deck a lot, and I think the Aomer play at the last turn where he killed Max was incredible. He had just enough damage, which is always beautiful to see in action. Seb's Thalia and Gitrog monster unfortunately didn't do what they were trying to do. It seemed like all they did was basically disrupt people's plans and have creatures and lands come into play tapped, and was forced to constantly leave up mana to be able to deal with other people's problems and never really forward their board state. Max's Gabby deck certainly seemed like it was going in action, and I was surprised to learn that he doesn't play Impact Tremors or Perforos in the deck. He prefers to rely more on the tokens, swinging, and things like shared animosity to help pump them up. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, Friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.